What it do, y'all? It's your boy Chris Bow with another video, man. As y'all can see, we reacting to Lil TJ Slid and Kenny Simone's DMs. Plus, Diamond Flawless' new boyfriend cheats on her. <laughs> Plus, Lala Lee's Gunner. Now, I did not know Lala was with Gunner. That's kind of crazy. But, anyways, man, before we get into the video, stay sanitized, man. We're not trying to catch the Rona out of here, bro. Stay sanitized. Anyways, man, let's get straight into the video. If it starts to get boring, we'll cut it off after it hits uh, 8 or 10 minutes. So, let's get into it, man. We're really just here for this kind of some little TJ, man. I think TJ won the beef with, uh, I think TJ won the beef with DDG now. Got mad DDG whooped his ass. And it won't be win. <laughs> let's watch it. So, it looks like, you know, little TJ might have slid in Kennedy Simone's DMs. Hey man, it's your boy the extra plug and today we got a lot to talk about. So today we're gonna be talking about Diamonds Flawless, La La Gunna, Lil TJ and Kennedy Simone. Y'all already know what time it is. Shout out to the extra plug, man. Lately he's been coming out with straight heat. I've been reacting to pretty much every single one of his videos lately, man. Original video. It's gonna be down below, man. Man, we're gonna get straight to it. So the first topic, we're gonna be talking about Diamonds Flawless. Mm. So as a lot of y'all know, you know, she, you know, she recently, you know, got back together with her, you know, her SoundCloud rapper boyfriend. Not gonna lie, his music's trash. I listen to it. You know, his music's <laughs> trash. But yeah, like she got with her SoundCloud rapper boyfriend and, you know, it looks like they might be going through it. It No, not, not that they might be going through it. It looks like that he might have cheated on her. Might. Keyword, might. Because she made a questionable tweet that has me saying, hmm, <coughs> had me scratching my head. I'm gonna go ahead and read the tweet. Why cheat? Just leave. Mm. I don't know, Diamonds Flawless. You cheated. You cheated on, bro. A lot of y'all don't know. You know, she's been going back and forth with Stunner and King Sid. You know, she's been, you know, she's been going back and forth to them. So I'm sure she has cheated on at least one of them. So this is a little bit of hypocritical. But this, you know, this is a questionable tweet. And why I say that is because did Stunner cheat on Diamond? But mm. you know, y'all really, y'all really cannot say I'm reaching because it's like people tweet. Twitter is people make tweets based on how they're feeling at the moment. So mm -hmm. she is clearly feeling. All a, right, we a gotta add in three, two, one. Wait. Muted. Love to say I'm reaching. Like I'm not reaching for this. I'm not reaching for the stars today, bro. This is not, you know, this, this, she clearly obvious. feels some type of way. Yeah. But, you know, she, you know, she low key did cheat on Stunner with King Sid. You know, she's been, all right, she's been hopping from relationship to relationship back and forth. So, you know, I could be wrong though. She might have not, but like, it kind of seems like she has, you know, she's mm -hmm. bouncing between these two, you know, these two men, a SoundCloud rapper and a YouTuber, a SoundCloud rapper and a simp, mm -hmm. pretty much. But, but hey, if he cheats, if he cheated, that's a big L. How you gonna cheat on Diamonds Flawless, bruh? Let, let, Diamonds Flawless is, she's fine. She's fine, bruh. I never had a crush on her, but I could say, I could, I could, I could tell you right now. Diamonds Flawless is really, really fine, bruh. But, you know, let me, let me, read, is, let me read what else she tweeted. You gotta wipe the girl who stays solid even when you didn't deserve her loyalty. Well... Wow, okay. So I'm like I'm you know, I'm just scratching my head. She's clearly feeling some type of way. Stunning cheating. Sure. If she, you know, and like like I said, I know they I know they didn't break up. I know they didn't break up. But the stunner cheat, her mm. new boyfriend, SoundCloud rapper. Yeah, I'm telling y'all, bro, these SoundCloud rappers don't be loyal. They don't be loyal. These SoundCloud rappers, they don't be loyal. That's why, you know, I you know, I'm gonna give some advice to the females. If you date a rapper, don't expect them to be loyal. That's all I'm gonna say. Hmm. If you date a rapper, do not expect them to be loyal. Okay, I'm just leave it at that. But let me get my final thought on this. You know, I could be. You know, she could just be making tweets. I don't know. It just don't make sense, bro. Like a lot of y'all be saying, she's just tweeting in general. Like she's feeling some type of way. Y'all seem to forget people tweet how they are feeling at a moment. Facts, facts. Y'all, y'all say I'm reaching, but you know I'm not. There's no reaching. There's no reaching, bro. I'm not reaching for nothing. But yeah, we we gonna we gonna move on to the next topic. So the next Lala. topic, Lala and Gunna. So as a lot of you guys know, Lala and Gunna they was with each other on the low. She even admitted it in a video. I, I don't even I don't even have to play it. She even admitted it in a video. I don't mm. even have to play it. 
so basically the whole situation is you know like i said bro when people make tweets, know that, yeah. it doesn't matter if you're a female or men when you make a tweet you're making it based on how you were feeling at the moment or based on you know twitter is the little place people use to sneak this you know i, I you, you're not getting away with sneak dissing you're not getting away with sneak dissing you know you know i'm gonna i'm gonna call it out okay you're not getting away with sneak dissing you could sneak this but you're not getting away with it but mm. let's let's get into it so basically she made a tweet and this is what she said if i'm too bougie for you i'm not for you mm. so i know a lot of you guys are gonna say i'm really my god i'm tired of this man bro just like this side of them man reaching but i feel like she's talking about gunna mm. i feel like she's talking about gunna just because gunna's a rich rapper does not mean he was like i'm pretty sure you know he was probably like oh you bougie i think okay let me let me let me make this clear i think not facts y'all begin to choose right, to say right, 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 oh bro right. you're lying nah bro this is uh, this is what i think okay so yeah back to what i was saying i feel like gunna was calling her too bougie Bro, let me tell you. Just like if you can't handle me, if you a rapper and you go date an Instagram model, do not complain about her being too bougie. Facts, yeah. It's bro, you cannot sit here and tell me this is not a sneak diss to Gunna, bro. Bro, come on, bro. Y'all, y'all can't sit here and tell me this is not a sneak diss to Gunna. Who is? Who else would she be tweeting about? Who else would she be tweeting about? Mm -hmm. You know, ain't she supposed? She's supposed to go on a blind date. All right, the fact that DDG said. She like that he's gonna like take her on a blind date because he was on his Twitter asking her asking people who Shalala be on a blind date with. The fact that he's doing that shows me that her and Gunna are not talking no more. So you can't really say I'm reaching. It's just you bro, I just I take the puzzle pieces and I put them together. Right, right. And it right. seems like her and her and her and Gunna not together no more. But let's be honest. If Gunna wasn't famous, didn't have all his money, he wasn't a rapper. Lala wouldn't even look his way. Facts, yeah. We gotta be honest. We bro, we, we we gotta be honest, bro. We gotta be honest. Lala wouldn't be looking his way. A lot of these rappers would not get the attention if they weren't famous. They would not get all these females if they weren't famous. And that's just obviously, Facts. you know, I'm not saying none of you guys shouldn't already know. But yeah, her 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 and Gunnar are clearly over with. If especially if DDG's trying to put her on a blind date. Especially if DDG's trying to put her on a blind date. So you know, if her and Gunna are not together no more, you know, it's tough. Like I said, I don't care. You know, this is just something to talk about. But they, you know, Gunna probably, you know, got the cheeks and dip. I don't blame him. Mm. But yeah, but yeah, that's enough of that topic. My final thoughts on this topic. So I don't think she let him hit, bro. Apparently, Gunna said, "I'm not saying I think because I don't. I honestly don't think she's tweeting in general." Gunna called her probably called her bougie. These Instagram models gonna be bougie, bro. If you don't want, if you don't want a female who's bougie, change your identity, change your hair, don't be famous, because it doesn't matter. You could, you, you could, you could try to date a female who is not an Instagram model. She's still gonna, ex she's still gonna be acting bougie because she gonna expect you to be able to buy her all these things because you're be rich, me. you're a rapper. That's just the reality of it, bro. It, you know, it kind of sucks for these rappers, but they all these fe bro, it's just not genuine love, bro. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, it's not genuine love. When if, if she got called too bougie, it's because she was probably never mind, bro. Let me not get into that, but you know, we go, we gonna move on to the next topic. We gonna move on to the next topic. Well, we've all been waiting for. Turn me up. So, it looks like you know. Lil TJ might have slid in Kennedy Simone's DMs. Mm. And why do I say that? Well, it's been brought to my attention. It's been brought to my attention that Lil TJ liked Kennedy Simone's post. And I know a lot of y'all thinking, he just liked his post, bro. You're reaching. Bro. 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 I'm not reaching. And let me tell you why. Mm. He is not following her, and she is not following him. Mm. So, it's, you know, it it, it seems like... He searched up her name and went to her post and liked it. I'm not reaching. I put the puzzle pieces Gotta together. Gotta add in three, two, one. In the puzzle e you, you. This fit perfectly. So, you can't sit up here and tell me this man, little TJ, didn't try to shoot his shoot. Didn't try to shoot his shot Bex. at Kennedy. Facts, facts. Bro. That's 
Yeah, These that's, rappers think they slick, would. bro. Like, all right, if you want to slide in Kennedy's game, that, that's yeah. cool. You know, I I know he might be I know he might be feeling some type of way about you know, you know I'm not even gonna say her name. I'm tired. I'm tired of saying her name, bro. Nice. Y'all know who I'm talking about. If you don't, then I don't know what to tell you. But you should know who I'm talking about. He low key might be feeling some type of way about that situation. So he's you know being you know he's low key trying to retaliate. Mm. You know he, we see we seen word. that he was sneak dissing on the story yesterday, and now it's this. Now it's this. Hey man, we're gonna end the video right there. If y'all want to watch the original video where my reaction is going to be down below. If y'all like this video, go down there hit that like button. If you want to uh, watch my channel, subscribe. And you want to keep watching, channel be the first to watch my new content. Turn on the post notifications, man. See you out.